This is the third and final episode of our Atlantic crossing. It took us 17 days and during that time we saw four ships, caught five fish and each of us made 68 two-hour shifts. Luckily we have no major incidents. This happened uh, last night when we took the Janneker down. Uh, they, uh, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's like a sock that you pull down uh, on the Janneker when you take it down. And it all separated uh, not far from the top and uh, it made a big bubble. So we were a little bit stressed, uh, but uh, this morning's repair is to sew it back together. And it's not that hard work, it's not uh, Lena is steering the boat nice and stable and uh, I have my old uh, sewing machine here, so this will work soon, I hope we can put the Janneker up again. Out of the 19 fish dishes we had, we didn't have the same yeah, twice. We it is good to have a chef on board. My favorite was sushi and sashimi, but the fish burgers weren't bad either. We all liked the grilled barracuda. I'm not sure if it was the delicious taste or if it was the extra good since it was the first night on anchor. Wahoo! It's the third out of seven dishes. Yes. <laughs> Every second day we made fresh bread. It is sour dough that we got from our sailing friends Per Erling and Maria Evensen on Blue Puffin. This sour dough started in Antarctica 2014 and been around the world since then. We didn't have an autopilot, but we had John, and he was set to follow the boat lens. <laughs> so now we see uh, the first island. What's the name of it? Can 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 cool can Juan Can Do I think it is? But it's uh, hard to uh, pronounce it. It's an island south of San Vincent. We decided to go there uh, to check in because it's closer to. Uh, Bogo Keys, uh, where it's fantastic snorkeling and beaches and palm trees. And so lots of turtles! Turtles. <laughs> so if we go there.
there and check in and get some fresh food and then we go to uh, to a case to um, snorkel so Jan can enjoy the Caribbean before he has to go home. To cold and snow and sleep. So how do you feel about seeing land after 17 days? Oh, it feels fantastic. <laughs> I didn't know that it was going to be such a strong feeling. It was nice. What feelings do you feel? Mm, happiness. <laughs> yeah. And you? Yeah, it's really strong for me as well because it is. I mean, it's nothing unique that we, we've done. It's if you look in general, uh, it's easy to find and easy to say. Um, but I feel very happy and um, in one way unique because we made something that we've been planning and uh, doing all by ourselves and succeeding. And it's such a clear goal left across the planet. Forest Island, it's like, yeah, we made it. Yeah. Hooray! Yeah. And the and feeling is like, the whole body. Exactly. Nice. I also, also <laughs> <laughs> my own body. Yeah, but it's like, finally we're here. Yeah. And it's not very often I get this feeling when, when it's such a clear goal uh, that you reach. Usually there are a lot of smaller goals or it's almost like the process that is the goal itself so you don't have like a milestone or anything like that. But this is, this is a clear milestone, seeing the first land uh, leaving Europe. I can't stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Join us next week when we set our mind and boat into Caribbean mode. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free and it's good.